Yeah, so on February 1st, the app Storyfire actually found out it's going to be getting shut down. And that's kind of sad because, like, um, several months ago, I think it was in, like, August, a bunch of YouTubers and now a bunch of people on the platform all went over to Storyfire. I mean, the app was created by McJuggernuggets, which was a main uh, freakout channel, like, big YouTuber. He left, uh, they he wasn't getting paid like he wanted more edgy content like be able to get monetized and stuff there was good plat uh good like monetary plat like benefit and stuff of putting your stuff over on story fire so like yeah that was like pretty cool damn i don't know my voice is getting deeper maybe i'm just getting older <laughs> but uh yeah it turns out like lack of support and like it does cost a lot of money to like host and carry all those files so like you can't really knock them and there wasn't really a lot of people like actually on the site like i mean i got bored of the site after probably two three weeks i know they don't allow everybody to like upload which is obviously for like money purposes it's not affordable with like the lack of investments and stuff but i do write a lot like i write on my ink it page and shit so like Storyfire was like a social media site I could post my stuff to because like ink it I could post my stuff but like there wasn't really as much of like an actual like chat feature and Storyfire kind of had like its own like Twitter social site mixed with like the whole writing and video creation and all that shit so like it was a cool site I really did enjoy the features of it it just never really took off and there was some UI stuff and then like there's bugs like, I remember one day, like, a, I think it was a month or two ago, a glitch can't, happened on the site. And, like, people were able to tip, like, unlimited blaze. So, like, some people ended up tipping, like, 2 million, 3 million blaze, like, all for, like, nothing. Like, it was some stupid shit. So, like, it has had its issues and shit, but, like, I don't know. I, I figured, like... Nobody, I mean, the site launched in 2017, but no one really heard about it until, like, August... Like, la like, late summer 2020, like, Keemstar, Optimus, Atozi, Tipster, all of them all, like, flocked over to the app. And, like, that's when I feel like the app really got noticed. So, like, that was only four months ago. Like, I thought it would last a lot longer than it has. It's kind of sad to see it go out so early. Like, you'd figure, like, if it launched in 2017, it would have ended before this, but, like... It literally lasted longer than, like, Mixer did. Like, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to be posting a lot of videos. I haven't really had, like, I've been working a lot at my day job. So, like, I haven't really had all the free time to, like, record and edit and, like, talk about stuff. But there has been some stuff coming out that I've been wanting to talk about. Um, not everything is going to be commentary, like, drama-wise. I have some, like, personal or, like, life experience type stuff I want to talk about, so... Yeah, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Favorite Florida boy? I'm out. Rest in peace, Story Fire.